up guys welcome back to seize the speed for another car review and comparison today we have two of my favorite cars right here we have two beautiful f30 bmws to the right side of me is a 2014 328i and to the left we have my personal 2012 bmw 335i so as far as the specs goes the cars look almost completely identical except a couple of visual modifications me and uh, my friend have done to our cars which you can see these headlights aren't the stock headlights we'll talk more in depth about them um, i have these blacked out grills but aside that um, from the outside these cars look almost completely identical um, aside the little badge difference and uh, i have the dual exhaust on both sides this one has a dual on the side and as far as the powertrain, that is where they make the big change. This car has the N20 engine, the 240 horsepower, is a four-cylinder turbocharged engine. Both of these cars have twin power turbos, which is kind of a twin screw. They're not twin turbos. Um, a lot of people tend to make that mistake. This car comes with the N55, the better, more revised single turbo twin power version of the N54 motor, and it makes 300 horsepower. Let's get into some of the features. As I mentioned, here we are at the rear end of these two cars. As you can see, on the 328i, we have the dual exhaust on the side. Now, I gotta mention, both of these cars are the base non-M Sport model, so you're seeing uh, what you would get without the M Sport package. The M Sport would give you a little diffuser, different rear bumper, um, uh, same exhaust positioning though on both of these cars. As you can see, my 335i has uh, the dual exhaust on each side. And that's basically where the differences end on the outside of these cars. Let's get inside them. Alrighty, now inside of my 335i, here we have all your basic options that come with most 3 Series. This is one of the most bare bones F30s I have seen in my life. The guy that ordered this apparently just went to BMW and ordered the N55 engine and nothing else. So this screen that you see here is an aftermarket screen that I installed in this car. It is an Android unit and uh, so you can actually use it both with um, uh, the BMW system or you can switch over to the Android unit right there. Um, I'll include a little video of what it used to look like and what the base model F30 comes with with the smaller um, uh, iDrive system. Um, as you can see this is like where your heated seats would be. This car doesn't have it. Um, we got a sunroof, leather seats, uh, we got your iDrive knob right here that now controls my nice little Android unit which is actually pretty cool. I suggest this and I'll insert a link in the description of where I got this. It's a good modification if you do have the base model. We will be looking at the other F30 that actually has the higher end um, stereo system so you can compare for yourself which one you would prefer. I have the black interior in this car um, with the wood trim. Typically you would get you know um, uh, the sport seats if you get the sport trim package uh, you get a red uh, line on your key on the sport line also a little line on your bumper that is like between the base and your M sport and then on your M sport you would get nicer interior a better steering wheel um, uh, you would also get different trim you would also get the sport seats all right, and tacking on to the base model 3 series, this is the most basic gauges you can get in these cars. Um, it still gets the job done, it's decent, I like it. I like analog gauges, so it really doesn't bother me. Um, uh, we will show you the mid-grade better one, and you can also have a full digital gauge in these cars um, in the LCI higher trim models. So here we have the back seat, that's what they typically look like. Um, you could have these cars with rear heated seats, buttons would be there. Um, decent amount of room, although if you have, if you're carrying adults um, almost daily, I wouldn't, I would suggest getting a 5 series or a 7 series. Um, you know, it's nice to have the option of back seats when you need them, but not that big of a back seat to be honest. So as far as trunk space goes in these cars, there's a decent amount of room. It's actually usable. Um, this is actually an option on these cars, um, folding rear seats, which I do have, thank God. And I also have the split um, center, um, uh, which you can use to access your trunk from the interior or actually carry longer items with these cars. Alrighty, hopping into that 328i here. As you can see, we have a slightly nicer interior mainly because of our actually factory iDrive system we have and um, uh, we also have nicer gauges 
everything else is pretty much identical I just wanted to show you this uh, nice tan interior we have here he has the same uh, wood trim our iDrive knobs are a little different because he has navigation um, and I do not also another thing would be if you have parking sensors you will have a button here that you can uh, enable and disable them and the M cars you would also have your active suspension steering stuff like that here alrighty so we can take a look at these more upgraded gauges here as you can see you have uh, two little digital areas down there that I don't I'm gonna turn that copyright down um, if you have keep lane assist it will be right there you will have uh, all your alerts and everything coming up right there and as I mentioned you could uh, also have these cars option on a very high trims um, with digital gauges we're gonna move over here to our iDrive system in this car it is a wider I think 8.8 .8, uh, inch versus my 6 I think it's a 6 inch in my car the old one now I upgraded into a 10 inch one so we're gonna go over a little bit of the features in this one. As you can see, it kind of looks like my screen, just wider, but he has actual Bluetooth in which uh, apparently older uh, F30s do not have Bluetooth connectivity for music, so watch out for that if you're buying one of these cars with a smaller screen. Um, uh, this car comes with the Bluetooth. It also comes with the navigation, as you can see. And um, that's about all of that with this car. So another uh, option that my car doesn't have, but this 328i is equipped with is automatic folding mirrors every time you lock them or when you unlock them they come out like that it's actually pretty cool I'm super jealous of this one <laughs> I tried to retrofit them in my car but it costs a couple grand so it's not worth it the whole mirror is different all right so let's start with the less powerful of the two this is our 328i with the n20 engine although there is a less powerful trim than this car it's the 320i um, it was the only time that in the us we got a 320i they usually keep those in the europe but we have that too it makes less than 200 horsepower i think it's pretty underpowered um, i would opt for at least a 328i you can see the turbo down there um, this is a inline four uh, twin power turbo engine making about 240 horsepower. one of the most common failure points on these cars is the timing chain so make sure to lessen out for that if you're shopping for a 328i let's move on to the other car okay so now here under the hood of the 335i with our straight six three liter twin power turbo engine um, similar setup you have a straight six instead of a straight four um, you can't really see the turbo in this car. There's a lot of stuff going on down there um, With this car there's just you know a lot of oil leaks going on. That's a common problem, you know valve cover gaskets uh, Because the engines are sitting at an angle you're uh, Right here like all the straight six BMWs your oil filter housing might be leaking just thoroughly go throughout the engine and make sure you don't have any rattles anything weird happening with these cars they seem to be pretty robust engines if you take care of them and uh, transmission wise uh, both of these cars share a ZF8 speed automatic transmission uh, pretty good transmission um, honestly it's one of the best on the market as far as Tiptronic automatics goes um, the transmission shifts almost like a dual clutch it's unbelievable Alrighty, so here we are inside the 328i. Apologies for the shot, I don't have a better lens to do this with. So, this car, as I said, is a little bit, um, uh, you know, has a little less power than my 335i. Smaller engine, although it gets a lot better of a fuel economy, if that's something you're in the market for, and um, you don't care much about the power. On the lower end, it feels exactly the same as I was telling him when I was driving his car. It feels great. Um, uh, same transmission so you still get the same buttery smooth shifts although um, in his track record he has blown up one of these transmissions <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently just that on over but you know you know uh, he should have got a 335 I'm just gonna say that <laughs> if you drive like him get a 335 so um, as far as the driving modes go in these in this car uh, they both have eco um, comfort and sport if you do get the Sport line and the M Sport, you get a Sport Plus, which is kind of like a track mode, turns off your uh, traction control, and you will also have a uh, 
uh, what's it called, uh, launch control, which you know uh, helps your zero to sixty a little bit. Um, right now, I'm just gonna turn it into my friend Romtin. Thank you so much, bro, for coming out today. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, just give us some of your opinion on living with this car. He's had an F30 for much longer than I've had one. Since when? Yeah, 2016. There you go. So, yeah. so uh, yeah, what do you think about this car? Right? I mean, I saw it in December of 2015, and, you know, I wanted to buy a car. That was, like, the first car I bought in Texas. And uh, I was in high school back then, so it really looked good. I mean, it was, like, 2014, two years old. It had 29,000 miles on it when I got it. Wow. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, you know, I wasn't really looking for anything, you know, too special. I just wanted, you know, a German car that's nice and, you know, handles nice. Yeah, both nice. of us being Persian, I mean, yeah. BMW is our thing. We, we've always been looking at these cars, um, you know, I, I'm, I, me personally, and I'm sure you as well always you know dreamt about owning a nice one Absolutely. this is a good starter bmw hopefully um uh, on to the next big things we're gonna get our six series eight series yeah my dream is the eight series so we'll see what oh, happens yeah. one day yeah pretty nice cars man but as far as a entry level getting into a bmw that's actually comfortable gets decent fuel economy and you know it's a bmw it gives you the real wheel drive mm -hmm. good powertrain feels smooth these are pretty nice cars. Yeah, just don't be, uh, you know, too, uh, I guess, uh, violent with it, because that's <laughs> that's how I did it, you know, back in the day, and I uh, blew a transmission. I used to just, uh, you know, go on reverse before the car stops, and then I think that did it. Yeah, and you drove the car in uh, in manual mode a lot, right? Yeah, manual mode, like a lot. Slamming gears and it's, everything. It's fun, and it has a really good transmission, but uh, I guess if you mess with it too much, then Keanu's better than me, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, the ZFA HP, it's a good transmission, but it's it's more fragile than you'd expect it to be. It's not a race transmission, it's not a sequential, so you gotta take it, take it easy on it. So, um, anything else you wanna add? No, just, you know, if you're not looking into racing, you just want a really nice car that's comfortable, and it's not too expensive, you know, out there. I feel like, you know, the 328 and 330, you know, they're really good cars too. Uh, you know, I would like to also add, if you're buying one of these used, it'd be a good idea to invest in a aftermarket warranty for sure. Absolutely, that's what I have and it saved my life with the transmission. Big yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, freeballing it and we'll see, we'll see if my car holds it or not or I'm gonna have to come. How much did you pay for the trans? Or it, was, the it was supposed to be $10,000, yeah. but I paid $800. Yeah, I hope I'm so. not out of pocket that much because then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to burn the car at that point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and swap cars and see you in a second. All right, we're going to, we're in sports mode. We're going to send it right here. That's 60. All right, guys, so now we're inside of my 335i. Um, we're gonna drive around, talk a little bit about this car. This is your uh, in-between uh, trim. If you didn't wanna go with an M3, but you wanted a little bit of power, you would go with a 335i. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do a little sport mode acceleration here. All right, so as I was saying, we tried to do an acceleration, camera fell down, so we're gonna continue this way since we don't have a proper mount. Um, this car is, as I said, your middle level car if you didn't wanna get an M3, so it moves a little bit if you're into actually using your car, and that's a pretty cool Porsche right there. Uh, <laughs> so if you actually like accelerating a little bit, You can hang with some big cars. You can hang with V8s in this car, no problem. Especially older V8s. Uh, this transmission and engine combo gets up and goes pretty good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do a zero to 60 test soon. We'll see. All right, here we go. Not the best start. 60, 60. I stay committed. We're gonna do another pull just for the hell of it. 60, 70. 
Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. It's getting dark out. We got both of the cars out for you. I hope uh, this will help you make a decision if you were wondering which of these cars would be the best option for you. Um, uh, comment down below if you have any questions uh, regarding F30s, any suggestions. Keep them coming. Uh, you know, make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.